Hey, so in this video I'm going to explain all of Microthema's keyboard shortcuts. Uh, so I've got these docked right at the moment. Um, they're accessible here, you can view them all here. Um, just to show you how to dock them right, uh, if you go to view and then fine tune and then make sure that this toggle is set to on. Uh, that's useful if you're trying to learn them initially, it's good to just have them displayed the whole time. Uh, so let's uh, start here and we'll work our way down. So the control key um, is useful when you're in targeting mode. If you were to click on a link normally, it would select it like that because you might want to change the color of it when you're editing in Microthema or font size or any kind of styling. Um, but if you want to follow it, just uh, hover over it, um, press the control key and then click it. And then we'll go through to another page. Uh, and the alt key next um, is useful for um, selecting elements without clicking them. So I can click on this this item to select it or I can hover over another one, just press the Alt key and then select it that way. Um, that's useful because sometimes when you uh, sometimes you want to target an element that uh, produces some behavior when you click it. Um, so HTML select menus like drop down menus, um, let me just show you what I mean by that. Um, go to these fine tune options like these things here. Um, if you try and click on them, uh, it just won't work because that, that specific type of element is the only one, but it resists being clicked. Um, so if you hover over it and then press the Alt key, you can select it. Also, um, sometimes you might want to style a button uh, and there's some behavior attached to that button where if you click it, it will load a dialog or go through to uh, another page or load some dynamic content that you don't want to happen. So again, just use the Alt key as a way of selecting things without clicking them. Um, also, by the way, you can, uh, you can if you want to select something without clicking it visually on the page, you can also click um, on the, the HTML for it in this pane here. Or you can use, uh, whoops, we can use these breadcrumbs or you can use um, these options here to go, like say, up to the parent element. You see, I'm, I'm going up. Um, so these are all alternative ways of selecting things without clicking them. Uh, okay, so that's your key. Okay, and so also, uh, so let me just click on this heading here, uh, and then I'm going to go to the font size property groups. Uh, the Alt key is useful for enabling um, the mouse wheel to adjust things. So if I um, hold the Alt key and then move the mouse wheel up. I can increase the font size of this or decrease it, and it's a nice, convenient way uh, to change font styles um, without actually clicking too much. Um, and also related to this is the shift key. So if we, um, if I do exactly what I just did a minute ago with the, uh, holding uh, the Alt key down and then using the mouse wheel, um, if I also hold the shift key, then my mouse wheel adjust will have a much bigger effect. It basically just increments by 10 instead of 1 in this case. Okay, um, so that can be quite useful. And that also works with um, when you're using the increment buttons, which are these buttons here, uh, or if you're using the your keyboard uh, up and down arrows, if you hold shift, it'll in increment the value by 10. Okay, so now we've got lots of um, keyboard shortcuts where you use control, alt, and then a letter. Uh, so to demonstrate this one, let's go to um, the Elemental page. I'm going to hold Control and click that to follow it. Um, and so if I if I press uh, Control Alt B, that will just load the builder. It's the equivalent of uh, where is it? Uh, integrations of just flipping this switch, uh, and you can also use that to um, to unload it as well. Uh, so toggle the full code editor with C. Okay, yep. So there's a there's a view. Um, let's just find it. Yep, full code editor here where we can enable that by using this toggle, um, or I can do Control Alt C to go um, to switch between the normal view and the code editor view. Okay. Uh, detaching the site preview. Okay. So right now we've got the site preview loaded uh, here and we've got the microthema toolbar around the outside. But we might like to, if we do Control, Alt and D, you can see that we, we're, um, microthema has loaded a new tab up here um, where we've got the site preview and we can still select elements. So I could uh, select this heading here. Uh, and what you would normally do is drag this to uh, your second monitor. 
So, um, but for the video, I'll just keep this here on another tab. And then Microsnema interface is the same, but instead of having the site preview here, you've got much more room for the code editor. So let's see, I can say color, uh, let's see, color red. Uh, and then going back here, it's changed this to red. So again, you'd be working on two screens, so you'd be looking at both things at the same time. Um, so I can also just use that keyboard shortcut uh, to bring the preview back here. Uh, and let's just get rid of that red setting there. So I can close this. Uh, this will stay um, when you detach the preview and then you undetach it. This stays here in case you want to detach it um, again. And it will just the content will just load here so we don't have to open a new uh, tab and then drag it again. OK. So viewing the generated CSS code, uh, that's the equivalent of going to the general section and clicking view generated CSS. Um, we can, with using control alt G, we can load that without using that option. Okay. Uh, let's see. Toggle selector highlighting. Okay. So, um, that refers to the, what we're seeing here around this heading. So, um, the, Way of in the interface, so it's the equivalent of clicking this button to turn it on and off. Um, once you've selected something for applying styles, this can be a bit distracting, so it's nice to have a convenient way to just turn it off using a keyboard shortcut. Uh, okay, so I'm going to let's say I'm going to set the font size of this to 50 pixels to make it a bit bigger. Um, if uh, if I wanted to jump to the UI um, to edit this 50 pixel area, um, what I would do, this only works if we haven't got SAS enabled. So let me just turn that off for a second to demonstrate this. Preferences, turn this off, save preferences. Uh, yeah, you see we've got this option here to jump to a property group. So we can, we can click that and then suddenly we could adjust the font size via the UI instead. Um, but if we are, if we're editing this line in the editor, we can do Control Alt J, and it will do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to uh, enable SAS again in a minute. But um, okay, first of all, um, we'll talk about the page navigator menu. Okay, so that's just um, up here. Let's see, page. Um, we've got a search function, but if you do Control Alt N, we can display that at any point. So I'm just going to re-enable SAS now uh, so that I can show you what the next keyboard shortcut does. So Control alt p so doing a full SAS compile. So I think uh, I've set something up already on the overview page here. So let's have a look. We've got two selectors. Um, this one where um, we're setting the background color using a variable set in the uh, full code view. You see I've got that background color too. Um, and one, one and two, and so that's the first one's yellow. And then we've got another selector here where we're just setting a different background color on this list item. Um, and what Mike, uh, what Mike Thimmer does uh, when we're editing our SAS code here to keep things really fast is it only um, compiles the SAS code that it that is needed um, to to successfully compile the CSS code. Um, so if I go to uh, view generated previous SAS compile, okay, yeah, so this is this is what I mean. So I, I edited the font style italic property here. Um, and because this selector only makes use of the BG color 2 option, um, then it only needed to include the, the full code editor CSS variables and then this selector. Whereas if I were to force a full SAS compile using control P and then let's do that and then I'll check the 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 compiled SAS you can see it's included it's done a full SAS compile with all of the uh, selectors which would which takes slightly longer if you've got um, a huge project uh, and this shouldn't really be necessary um, it it, the uh, selective compilation should always work, but it's just there as a backup. Um, if you're not sure, if you just want to, if you have something, if you're troubleshooting something and you're not sure if it has anything to do with Microthema, you can just run a full SAS compile and it will f compile all of your SAS in the usual way. Okay. So returning folks to the editor. So here I've got, um, you know, I'm editing this line here. If I was to say click off, 
Um, and that, but then I wanted to make some more CSS changes. I can do Control Alt and R, and then I'm back in the editor, and I can just start typing a new line. Uh, Control Alt S is for is purely for the code view, uh, the JavaScript editor, and the code view. So if we go here, and I go to this this um, section here, let's just make this one bigger. Um, what I can do is I can enable this alert by hand commenting it, and then use Control S. And that will reload the page and show my alert. Okay, um, and uh, that's the only way to save JavaScript code is to use Control and S. Okay, uh, now for targeting mode. Um, so if you can see when I'm hovering over elements in Microthema, um, that means they're av I'm able to click on them to select them and change some styling. Um, but if I want to turn that off, I can interact with the page. Uh, normally, I can follow links without using control. I can do other things. If I'm working with a page builder, um, then I probably don't want Microthema's overlay selection styling at the same time as the page builders. Um, that's why when you enable a page builder, this gets turned off by default. But uh, if you want to use a keyboard shortcut, you can use control, alt, and T to turn that on and off. OK. Uh, and then finally, uh, so this relates to the normal view. If we uh, use, um, so you can see we've got a few selectors here. If we use the, con the keyboard shortcut, Control Alt uh, and then dot, we move right, or Control Alt and the comma, we move to left. Those ones are to the left and right of each other, so that should make sense. Um, yeah, and that's all of the keyboard shortcuts. So thanks for watching.